Next up, we're going to talk about games in Asia. <laughs> and to be honest, there are so many games in Asia. But again, I want to focus on board games. Okay, board games. So I'm not going to talk about card games. I'm not going to talk about dice games. I'm only going to focus on board games. And Mahjong, Mahjong, do you consider Mahjong a board game? I a little bit do. I kind of do. I kind of do. But maybe I can make that, maybe I can make that into another stream. Maybe that's what I'll do. Another stream, I'll talk about Mahjong. But for today, I'm going to talk about Go. In the last video, I taught you about Chinese checkers, which isn't even Chinese, it's German. It's not even checkers. But if there was a Chinese checkers, it would be this game, Go. Go is the closest similarity to checkers of any game that I talked about. And it is just as old, if, if maybe possibly older than Senate, which I've talked about, and Drafts, which I've talked about, but it's, it's originally from, from China. Now, some of my notes that I've seen talk about how this came from India, but I really want to focus on China because it's one of those games that it was invented a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, three thousand years ago, but it's still just as popular today. It hasn't changed once in its entire history at all, which I think is pretty amazing. I think it's pretty amazing. They have found Go boards, uh, wooden and stone Go boards in, in palaces from 2,000 years ago. It was very popular then, just as it is popular now. Pretty amazing. And what's interesting to me is, even though it's a Chinese game, and it's very popular in China, it is incredibly popular in Japan. There are there are go clubs and go gambling club casinos, uh, underground casinos and school clubs that that teach go and there's go tournaments that are just huge in Japan. It's incredible. But if we're going to talk about Japan. Let's finish talking about shogi. Now, shogi, if, if Go is like checkers, shogi is more like chess. And I really don't have enough time to explain how to play shogi. You actually, there are people who go to shogi academies and study shogi they study it like it's a degree they get degrees in shogi there are shogi masters who are treated with more respect than professors in engineering and mathematics and philosophy it is so complex this game is so complex and has such a deep, deep history in Japan. Whoa, to be a shogi master is considered to be a, a very high level in, in society. But I kind of wonder though, you know, in some countries, having a PhD in a philosophy is considered really high like you get a lot of respect and you can get like a really good jobs in america if you have a phd in philosophy basically maybe you can get a job as a manager in a fast food restaurant basically or teach social studies in high school i know because I have a friend who is a, a doctor in, in philosophy, and that's what he does as he teaches social studies in high school. He likes it, though, but just think about it. He has a PhD in philosophy. He writes books, but the only job he can get is teaching high school. 
But in Japan, though, if you are a shogi master, oh, that's pretty important. You have a pretty important place in society.、Mm. But I wonder, I wonder, do you get a good salary? Is it a good? Do you get a good job out of that? I mean, I'm not judging. I'm just curious. I don't know. I think Americans, we don't treat our artists very well, or our academics very well. And that's that. I think that's unfortunate. So I'm just curious: Are you good at any of these games? Are you good at Go? Are you good at Shogi? Are Are you good at、uh, Settlers of Catan? I'd like to know. But anyway, that's going to be the end of these games that I chose. Out of all the board games in Asia, I chose I chose these games because they just seem to, to be the most common and the the easiest to talk about. Anyway, get board games in Asia.